Alright, I just gotta say something about this Patreon situation. This thing is getting ridiculous, and it's the same battle I've been fighting forever. Okay. For anyone who doesn't know, Patreon's been kicking people off their platform. It's a huge problem because a lot of what Patreon is, is because of all these people who've joined and brought audience. Like, we've basically built Patreon up into this big successful thing. And then they're like, oh, now that we've got all the success, we're going to kick you out and you out and you out. We don't like what you're saying. So it's a problem. There's the, they're breaking the deal. Now you can forget about who they've kicked off recently or how we need to react and all this. All, there's all this craziness going on around it right now. Let me cut through all the crap and tell you what's, what's, what's important that's really going on. And it's the same thing. Like every time there's a problem. Okay, so, so Patreon's causing a problem. Now, they're getting pressured by their, by the credit card companies and PayPal. I don't, I don't know. Like, whoever's making their business work, they're sending them pressure. And those people are getting pressure from higher up. And their, their bosses are getting pressure from the next bosses. And you follow this pipeline all the way up. You get some dude who's on a toilet way up in the sky, metaphorically speaking, obviously, Sending down brown orders to crap on all of us. And that dude up in the sky, the dude on the toilet, does not want the best for us. This is just the same thing over and over and over. We're all being crapped on. <clears throat> and I, and sitting here and uh, arguing amongst ourselves about, ah, it's Patreon's fault. No, it's the credit card company. No, it's your fault for not getting off Patreon. No, it's your fault for staying on. No, it's your fault for fighting over it wrong. Your fault. No, it's this dude in the toilet sending down the pipeline these brown turds to poop on all of us. Now, they do this trying to manipulate all of us. And all they're trying to do is to figure out what kind of, what kind of turds they have to send to us to trick us into enslaving ourselves. So let's, uh, let's analyze this latest situation. They're doing whatever they need to to trickle down to get people kicked off Patreon. People who are specifically speaking up for free speech and, and fighting for freedom. That's who they're targeting, very clearly. So they kick one of these people off. And it can be Sargon of Assad or Lauren Southern or any, any of these other people who've been kicked off in the last, I don't know, year. I've even gotten a... Uh, an adult rating on my channel. I don't even swear on my channel. Half my audience is, is parents and their kids. But no, I get an adult rating. Apparently I'm on their radar or something. Whatever. So this dude sends down uh, one of these brown turds and gets gets a dude kicked off Patreon. So the dude in his toilet's getting reports back. Okay, this guy who's fighting for freedom, Sargon of Akkad. I don't know anything about him. But I know this is for free speech, and I think he needs to have the free speech. And I made this video two years ago about free speech, and I have to say I was disgusted at how many people were defending getting rid of free speech. No, you have to have free speech or else freedom is done, okay? So anyway, they get Sargon of Akkad kicked off. And the dude on the toilet says, ah, okay, good, we've just uh, taken, taken one, one of these people's, we've taken one of the enemy's fundings away. And Sargon is trying to make life difficult for Patreon, which is a completely reasonable reaction because they've wronged him, and now he's trying to make it difficult for them. And in the process of all this, a whole bunch of other people are leaving Patreon, right? So all those people are losing their funding, and this is all people who care. This is the people who care about freedom, who are fighting for free speech. This isn't people who don't care about this. This is the important people who are leaving, and their fans, and the people who support them. So this dude on the toilet's looking down, and put a, put aside like all the other details, cause cause this dude on the toilet doesn't care about complaints or you know all all this other mess. All he's doing is looking down and saying, oh, there's like 40 different people who are all fighting for freedom, and fighting for free speech, and they have all just lost a bunch of money. They've been they all all been set back like a year. So in a couple more months, let's do this again. Just when everyone calms down. Let's do it again. Then they're doing this to us. Now, the worst possible outcome of this situation is that people who are supporting, who are being supportive on, on Patreon, and now I'm going to dump this all on the end user. And I don't mean to dump it all on you. I'm just pointing it out that whenever these things happen, it's always the end user who has all the power. 
and the end user never realizes it. Not never, but usually doesn't realize it. So the worst worst possible situation is people pull their support from from Patreon and just leave it at that because they they they've taken their hard-earned money and donated it to someone voluntarily, which is a very it's a it's a that's a big thing in this culture. They've voluntarily given up their hard-earned money and they've just been slapped in the face for it. So yeah, just turn around and walk away. The problem with that is that the net result is that all the people who are fighting for for free speech, fighting for your freedoms, they've all been they've all been taken from. They've all lost something. They've lost part of their ability to fight for your freedom and to fight for free speech. Now, the best situation that can happen is everyone who's who's supporting someone on Patreon. If you feel that Patreon has caused a problem or some somehow you feel like you need to do something, which is completely understandable. I think a lot of people feel that way and it's yes. You should take your support from Patreon and go directly to the person's website cuz like almost all these people have websites. I have a website where you can donate directly to me. You can do Bitcoin and PayPal. You can even click a button to send good vibes and the good vibes counter is like six figures. It's amazing. So anyway, take your support from Patreon and then send it to people directly cuz then the, the dude who's crapping on, on, on everybody in the toilet looks down and says, oh, I just crapped on all those people and it didn't really have a very good effect in making them do what I wanted to do. If anything, there's kind of a backlash because now the people fighting for freedom and fighting for free speech are actually getting more money because they're not having to give Patreon a cut. Now, the, the, really best, the really best result of this would be that every time we get crapped on like this, people just like increase their support of people who are who are resisting that stuff so all right that's about all i have to say about this patreon situation it's such a it's such a headache ah i have i have important things i need to do and i'm still fighting for everyone's freedom and free speech as much as i can regardless of how this patreon thing goes and i don't know if i should get off or on but really the responsibility nah, the most power is in the end user. You guys can really decide. So I'm just, I'm just trying to make it as easy as possible for people to donate to me in various different ways. It's up to you guys to choose how to do that and how to support, you know, anyone else you're supporting. Okay, I gotta go. Let's back up Sky Toilet Man's toilet and send that crap back to him.